recording this video to show that I am currently using the 1x player brick, charge brick that it came with, and the original charge cable with the one on the label connected to the 1x player. Get everything started up here. Now, the original problem was playing games, I would lose connectivity from the charger and when it would reconnect, it would not reconnect properly and the game would crash and if I left the charge cord plugged in, the entire One X player windows would crash. So I worked with One X and was advised that it was the charger or the cable that I was using aftermarket. So I used the original brick and charge cable and sent videos to show that the issue was happening with the original equipment. I sent it to 1X player and uh, it was sent out on August. I did not receive it back until about a week ago. It is uh, mid-December now. So they had it all that time and said pieces were replaced and that um, nothing was found as an issue. Uh, immediately when I got it back, I played for two hours and noticed that it was having the same exact issues and worse. So uh, one of the issues was the connector. How I can show the issue is once I go into the game, <clears throat> when it's on power or off of power, the game definitely reacts differently because you of course have more power to the GPU or the CPU than when you're running off the battery. So let's see here, just get into the game and start. And you can see the water moving around, the character is moving and then the glow of the sun. And then if I slightly move this, things react when it shouldn't react. And then the game frame skips. So you'll notice that the water is not flowing properly or there's flickering. And then that's how I know it's not charging from the original cable. And that's just moving it a little bit. Now granted, somebody's not gonna sit there and just keep moving their USB-C cord around, but this is a handheld player and you get better uh, gameplay when you're sitting with it plugged in and see that it's flickering now and the, the frame rate is going down. It's going back and forth. So I, I sit on my couch and I play with this with it plugged in and it goes in and out. I don't play off a battery because I want better gameplay from it being plugged in. So I sent it to them, explained the issue. I was told it was because I wasn't using the original charger. This is the original charger showing the issue. So after showing that that is actually having the issue, the cord I was using is actually a better stronger, thicker cord. They advised I was using a cheap cord and that's what the cause of my problem was. But this is actually a 100 watt cord with a display. So with their power brick and then this actually displays the power going through to the unit and you'll notice I have to wiggle it around and then it will start displaying the actual wattage that it's pulling. So it normally floats anywhere from 10 to 40 
uh, when I'm playing a game like this, it's not very taxing. But it's very noticeable if I'm sitting down on the couch and I'm moving around, it will go to 0, 0.00 and it will lose its connection. And when it loses the connection, it flickers and goes to zero, 00. And the game flickers. And if it's caught at the wrong moment, the game will crash. And if the power cord's left in too long, the entire windows will crash. And you notice it just did it again, zero, 00, 00 again. And you'll notice there goes the screen. The game crash, AMD is reporting an issue. And that is on the original brick, but that cord. I also have a 100 watt brick. And this is what they were telling me was cheap, but it's actually a $80 power brick, uh, which is much better than theirs. And a lot of times in order to get it to actually start charging again, I'll have to remove it and plug it back in. And adjust it until it actually pulls. Now, the only thing I can assume is when they were testing it is that it was laying flat with the cord perfectly flat. Because if it's sitting properly flat and does not move, it will pull the wattage. flicker. So if I let it sit there and I play with an external controller, which this is not meant to do, then I, I can get it to act properly. So that was with their cord and my best cord that I would like to use, but they're saying isn't compatible, but even using their cord, it is still having issues. So they asked me if I had another laptop or device. This is a razor blade and I will utilize their brick again and their cord. I will say while this is starting up, the right port is much worse than the left port. If I use the left port, it will operate for a couple of hours without issue. If I use the right port, it's about 15 minutes to an hour into gameplay that it starts uh, having issues. And it seems like the longer you play, the more issues it has. Um, ultimately, I thought they were gonna replace the USB-C port uh, because it's it's clearly the connection um, so but received it back was told everything was fine immediately started playing and it wasn't fine so right now I have their cord plugged in full charge it's receiving and it, it will it says it will be fully charged in two minutes system here and moving the 
this around. There is no monitor flicker. There is no disconnection, no GPU issue, no frame rate loss because it is detecting it is fully plugged in. And notice I am moving it a lot more than what I did with the 1X player. So I will exit out of this. And the battery bottom corner shows it's charged, continuing charging, continuing charging, moving around, pretty much yanking on the cable, and it is having an excellent connection. So that is with their cord, which is assumed to be the best and should always work. And it does in my razor blade, but not my 1X player. So now I will use the their power brick with my cable with the digital readout. And the company that makes this, it's off of Amazon, it's A-O-H-I. It's a 100 watt brick with a 100 watt cable. So this is with their brick, but my cable. And it is getting a digital readout of about 40 to 60 watts. Notice it fluctuates because it's just on standby and it's trying to catch up. So now notice I'm moving it around just like I was the 1X charge cable. And it is staying at 44, 43, 46, 45, 39. I am really moving it around and it is not going to zero zero or losing connection. So that is with their charge brick and my cable. It is not losing connection how much I move it forwards, backwards. And this is a laptop. It's not meant to be handheld, but it has a better connection. So I will remove their brick their cable and I'll move over to my brick and my cable which is what I plan to use with the 1x player but they were saying that using an aftermarket is the issue but this is what I'm showing is this is not the issue the issue is the USB-C connections in the 1x player so I'm moving this all around 39 watts 45 watts 43 watts 38 watts 68 watts and it has not gone to zero zero and I'm moving it around much more than it was in the 1x player so it is continuing to charge now put it back in the 1x player 0 0.00, .00. 21 19, 20, 27. So it is functioning zero, zero. Immediately when moved around, the entire cable resets and goes to zero, zero. Now the entire reason I am using the better cord and the watt output is because this gives a clear display when the power is being drawn and when the 1X player is actually charging. Without this display, all it does is crash on the 1X player with their original charge brick and their original cable. Just by crashing, I had no idea what was going on. So I used my original, my aftermarket charge cable, and it actually shows me that the draw on the USB-C is not pooling. It resets goes to zero, zero, starts pulling, resets, goes to zero, zero, starts pulling. It is not consistent 
on either charge board. Now I will say the left one, I said before, it is more consistent. It does not drop out as much. Notice I'm moving it around. It's at 19, 20, 23, but it still drops out. The right one is definitely dropping out left and right. Now how they had it for months and could not determine that there was a loss in power, I'm not sure. I sent previous videos. Now I am sending a full video explaining all of this because I spent a good amount of money on this 1X player. I bought it brand new, not used, had an issue, reported it to them, went back and forth for about two months and they were blaming my charger, saying it was the charger. I sent them videos saying it wasn't the charger. They had me ship it to them at my cost of $70. And that was on August. And then I received it back in December. So I'm not sure what to do with this device. You, I would expect it to be warrantied and you know, be able to get a working device. I have spent my time my money to try and get this working and I've been fought back that it's you know either my charge cable or my devices and this video is to show that it is on their original uh, devices they shipped with it that it is the USB-C ports that are bad charging on both sides but mainly the right side I sent it to them to get it uh, fixed under warranty it was sent back to me not fixed, having the same exact issue. I do not know who to reach out to to get more assistance. Um, but at this point, I feel like I spent a lot of money on a device and I'm not getting the proper usage out of it because it's meant to be a handheld and in order for me to hold it in my hands, the cord moves a little bit because you don't sit perfectly still when you're playing a game. And every time it moves a little bit, it goes to zero, zero and it's not charging, it crashes the game, so I can't save my game, I lose my place. It is extremely frustrating. It also crashes Windows. So I've uh, had it crash to the point where Windows wouldn't even come back. I tried to restore, it wouldn't restore. I had to reformat, and then it would start working again. So I love the device. Uh, it has a great uh, internal workings processor, GPU, uh, the controllers, all that works great. The only bane of my existence are these two USB ports at the top. And in order to use the device and have it powered, you need those. There's no way around it. There's no other cord or way to charge this. So I am stuck with a device that I want to play in my hands and I cannot. So I am reaching out to One X again to say, please help either replace the device or do something for me because I have sent it to you at my cost, spent $70, I have been without it for six months and I still don't have a working device. I have shown you that it's not working. I have shown you how it's not working twice before I sent it to you and now after I received it back and you said it was fine. I do not know what else to do. Please fix this. I want to have a working device. I paid a lot of money for it and I would like to be able to play on this amazing device, but I need the power ports to work. 